I should really pop this on, yeah? Hi, welcome to the vlog! You know I was talking about trying to avoid gas gear acquisition syndrome, well I failed I have decided after saying I wouldn't to get a Canon 5D Mark III because it's my brother's wedding next week and I've been after a full frame camera for a long time and crap decided to bite the bullet. Wex, now it is a reconditioned one, I didn't buy a new one. I am looking forward to not dropping it, to trying to share more photographs with you. Make sure you check out my Flickr page below, might be. I've got this 60D and it does a great job of video and I was sorely tempted just to get a 5D Mark I just to experiment with a full frame camera. Because th this has video on it as well and loads of other things really, I just, I, we hired one out at Christmas and I got some of these photos on it. And I, don't, I stopped myself because, you see photography is my hobby and I really enjoy my hobby and I do get paid for a bit of it at work and I enjoy obviously making stuff for you guys and it did stop myself thinking hmm I've changed I used to just blow stuff on mouthpieces and everything else like that I'm also playing cricket tonight last game of the season um, I know that's a bit daft for me breaking fingers and everything but I need to get out I've been teaching non-stop since nine this morning it's now half past four I need to make some supper in the oven for Kate and I run and get a memory card take some pictures for you guys and go and play cricket. So I've decided to play three games of cricket this year in the summer of 2018 where it's been so hot there's been drought conditions and I'm just setting off I need to run to the camera shop in Cambridge first as I said which I should get to I mean I'm on ways the only problem is it's Friday afternoon it's bank holiday weekend the traffic could be a horrible but hopefully everyone's coming out of Cambridge rather than going in so I'm doing the opposite thing then I'll hit the traffic but um, whether I'm gonna to get to play cricket or not it's rather dependent on whether this stops raining or not because uh, it may change my plans and it's pretty nasty at the But it's brightened up now, so maybe we are on, but it's very, very, very wet. So, see what he's doing here with it. Anyway, let's go and find this camera card. So I hope a few of those photographs turn out okay. I can say I'm an amateur photographer, I do it for the love of it, and of course it's a brand new camera to me, so I need to get used to how to use it, how to set it up and everything. Uh, I'm now, uh, the sun has come out, I've got the shades on, so I'm now heading to Hemingford Grey. Uh, I've done a couple of vlogs there before, here's one up here. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna head there now and play some cricket, hopefully. <laughs> Wow. 
reasonable end to the season. 25, ball three overs. Didn't get a wicket though, sadly. But I am so unfit and I am so going to feel it tomorrow. There is just the most incredible sunset, however, in my mirror. There's part of me that's very tempted to get off the, mo off the road and just take a photograph of it. I'm having supper with Katie, so I better get back. I should really pop this on, yeah? That is such a great tune. It's called Goodbye Port Pie Heart by Charles Mingus. It features on Mingus Art Um. Uh, Mingus says that was for Lester Young. I was playing the half note club the night we heard he died and we went to the bouncer and played a blues for Lester. I knew the guys would never do that again. I went home and wrote a blues the way. I thought they were playing with different types of chord changes, not just the regular blues, and it became part of the book. What I love about that tune is when you first look at it, you look at the changes because they're not kind of standard blues changes. There's lots of different harmonies in and you think, oh, I've got to outline the harmony on that. And then you think, and especially if you go on Cambridge Saxophone, you look at some of the Lester Young um, transcription projects. Well, Lester's doing a lot of time. He's just playing the blues scale. And I said it in an earlier vlog here. There's this kind of tension always with just playing the blues scale because we, you know, it doesn't cover all the bases and it can sound a little repetitive and, uh, and boring and, and kind of not outlining the changes. But when you hear something like Lester Young really get into grips with the blues, it really transforms me. I picked this up in New York, my pork pie hat. I used to wear it on gigs and I didn't, I think because my wife told me I shouldn't, she was my fiance then. I think it looks pretty cool. I think I should start wearing it again a bit more often. What do you think? That's about all we've got time for today. I hope you like the pork pie hat. Get yourself one if you haven't got one already. Should it be up like that? Should it be down? Should it be... Anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Check out my last vlog here. This is what I was up to this time last year. Hit that subscribe button if you don't already. And make sure you enter the competition if you haven't. I'm going to be drawing that next week. So if you'd like to win a Didario mouthpiece and loads of other goodies, it's your chance to do it. Bye-bye.